Hello everybody. Few days back when I was solving a pretty interesting SQL problem, this particular thing struck into my mind. Can we join two tables if there is not a single common column which is available into both of these tables? Is there any method by which we can do this? I was not concerned with whatever output this particular query would generate. but is this possible even also finally i had the answer from before only so friends it is pretty much possible to join two tables three tables n number of tables even if they don't have a single common column available into them friends what is the process through which we can join tables without a common column we'll be learning this particular concept into this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to receive such kind of useful information let us quickly move to my data set and let us understand and this concept into lot of more detail for this particular problem i have three very small data sets available to make you understand this particular concept into lot of more detail and into a simple way i have taken a very simple example here so you can see the very first table i have for department this is my department table the second table i have for shift and the third table i have for entry So these are all the three tables which are available. So what is the thing which I want? So, so the final data set which I want to generate here is a very simple data set. So you must have seen the timetable sheet. So for each of the shift which is present here, so you can see the day, afternoon, and night, all these countries, and into all those department. I just want to get the data set for which of the department in the country. and into the shift what are the shift timings department shift and country so department i'll do the same for shift and country let us run this particular query let us execute the query so you can see i'm getting the department name id and the country name now friends what is the final data set i want so i want to get the department name the day or the shift name and the country name and next to all these data set i just want to get to know like what is the shift timings for that particular department into that particular country and i have all these details ready with me here. first of all i would just want to get the department across all those ids across all those country names so what is the final thing which i want so you can see here into my excel sheet i have demonstrated this so for each of the department here which is mentioned i would just need to provide this data so in it department into the day hours or the day shift into the country india what are the shift timing so into the day the shift timing is from 7 am to 3 pm so i just want to present this data similarly i would do for the other department so let's say for it only i'll take so into it into the afternoon hours or the afternoon shift but this time let us take in india only what is the timing so the timing would be obviously different so the timing is this timing so i'll just copy this and paste this but this is the data which i've got is for india the data set it would come for us also a similar kind of data set so i would just mention this here us and the same timing it will be there so i want to get this particular data so i hope you are getting what i am trying to say similarly i'll do for operations here so for operations let's say into the night shift in us what is the time let us see how to get this data set using the sql query so I want to join each row from one of the data set to the other row into the other data set how we can do this so friends if you have read the join switch are present into the sql the cross join does the same thing even if there is not a single common column which is available into our data set the cross join works perfectly fine so we'll be applying the cross join condition here to join all these different data sets now if you remember what does this cross join it takes so let's say into one of my table i have five rows into the other table let's say i have the three rows so each row in table a would be joined with each row in the table b 
so how many rows would be into my output table so it would be 5 into 3 that is 15 so i would be getting 15 rows similarly here i would just join the let's say the department table with the shift table so i would do a simple select a dot star comma b dot star from so i'm doing a cross join so from department comma shift b and that's it so the cross join syntax is super simple so you can see i just need to provide the column names and the table names and i'll just execute the code so you can see my output is ready so friends this is how the cross join it works so if you'll clearly see for all those departments i'm getting the day shift for all those departments i'm getting the afternoon shift and also for all these departments i'm getting the night shift also i want to join one more table here and that is the other table that is the country table so i'll just provide this country and i'll just do a c and that all is required i'll just execute the code so friends you can see for IT department the day shift the country name is India I'll be getting the shift timings similarly for every other department every other shift the data I have got for every other country now, it is very much a simple cakewalk for us to get the shift timing using the case when statement I'll be providing the shift timings here so let us do this so I'll just take this into a sub query. I'll do select d dot star comma case when d dot id is equal to day. Then what is the shift timing? So the day timings are 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I'll just mention this when d dot id is equal to let's say night so what are the shift timings else the afternoon timings here i need to provide and the last thing i need to do here is end as shift timings from this so friends you can see i have got my output finally so this was the final output which i needed to generate so you can clearly see even if i am not having a single common column available into any of my data set even then i am getting my desired result here so this was a simple use case you for the cross join so cross join is super useful whenever we are solving some advanced level of sql problems so friends please don't ignore this particular concept and obviously we can join tables without having a common column what if here we are using different tables so what if we can join the same table with itself can we do this yes we can so this is known as the self join to explain this self join concept i have a lead code problem ready with me and this is a very interesting problem here so if you see the problem so you can see i have the employee table here so id is the primary key for this particular table each row of this table indicates the id of an employee their name salary and their id of their manager for example the input table you can see i have the id one two three four the name the salary of all those employees and the manager id you can see here so for example the id number one joe employee the manager id is three similarly for id number is two henry the manager id is four what is the output which i want so i want to get the sql query or i want to write the sql query to find the employees who earn more than their managers so friends this is pretty much an interesting problem like i want to get the details of all those employees who are earning more than their manager itself so here we just have a single table available by now it is pretty much clear that we are solving this particular problem using the self join now before solving this problem let us form the logic so the logic would be something like if we can just compare the salary of the employee and the salary of the manager somehow 
we would be getting the details of all those employees who are earning more than their managers so first of all we need to get this detail so to solve this particular problem or to get this particular detail we just need to get the salary of the employee and next to this particular column if we can somehow get the salary of their managers then we can just compare so how can we do this we'll just use the self join condition and on to what condition do we need to self join so the manager id and the employee id it should be same now this does not make sense it will make sense when i'll be writing the query so i'll just write here select a dot star comma b dot star from the table name is let's say the table name is employee a comma need to provide the table names here tables they would be joined let us see what is the output which we are getting but here is a constraint into the lead code uh, the output would not be clearly visible so you can see each of the row is being joined with other row so for example if i would just take this you will just see this output section here for max 90000 and null it is being joined with one jo 70003 so this particular row is being matched with this row similarly 3 sam 60000 null so 3 sam so this row is matched with the very first row one jo 70003 so each of the row is matched with the other row but what is the condition which we want how we can get to know like who is the manager of that particular person so say i have this particular table here i will just copy this into the excel sheet itself and i have similarly i have the same data set two times and that is what we are joining like we are joining the these two table let's say we are joining a table with itself but let us assume that we are having two tables here the same tables we are joining so each row will be joined with the other row so this row would be joined with this row this row would be joined with the second row now can we say that this particular manager id here when it matches with the employee id in the second table so this particular 3 which is present here it matches with the 3 which is present here so get me all those rows where this particular condition is satisfied so we'll be getting this data here so you can see jo manager was sam so i'm getting the sam details so can we say the manager id should be equal to the employee id into the second column and then only we'll be getting the desired result similarly we can say the manager id it should be equal to the employee id so we'll be getting this data also but for here we are getting the null value so all these things all these rows undesired rows would be removed and this is the output which we'll be getting so the very first thing which we need to consider here is we need to join on to the basis of the id so here we'll be writing a dot id should be equal to b dot manager id so we'll be getting the details of all those people and we'll be getting the manager details into the next column need to provide the where condition to filter out all those details underscore is not present friends we might have got the desired result as you can see i am just getting three rows here so 3 sam 60000 null 1 is matching with jo 70000 and 3 so that is pretty much correct because 3 and 3 is matching so we are getting 3 sam 60000 and null so this row is matched with 1 jo 70000 and 3 so that yeah, that is what we wanted so we just wanted the employee id and the manager details into just a single row so that we can compare his salary with his manager salary and we can get this particular data now one more condition here we need to mention here which we have discussed into the very first instance and that was the employee salary should be greater than the manager salary so friends let us see how to do this so for example first of all i am getting the manager details here you can see i'm getting the manager details first of all and then i'm getting the employee details so 3 is the manager of 1 similarly 4 is the manager of 2 you can see here 
we can just compare the salary of four with salary of two and we can just say that if uh, the manager salary is less than the employee salary throw me the output so we'll be getting the correct result so let us see how to do this i would just need to provide a additional condition here and i would need to write here and so this is the employee details and employee details in, is into the table b so b dot salary this should be greater than a dot salary let us execute the code we just needed to get the name of the employee so i would just write here b dot name and i would again run the code a problem here into the lead code is we also need to provide the exact uh, table name which they have given or the exact column name which they have provided so this is the mandatory condition here solution is finally accepted so friends this is how we solve this particular question using the self join and definitely we can join two tables or n number of tables even if they don't have a common column so if any interviewer is asking you this particular question obviously you can answer that yes we can join two tables even if they don't have any common column available into them and we can do this using the cross join and the self join so friends i hope you had found this video very much informational and very much useful so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information and i'll be bringing much more different videos into the advanced sql concepts so meet in the next video thank you so much bye